Soon, everybody will be buzzing about these Netflix series. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most anticipated Netflix originals of 2018. Fat girls could talk about skinny girls all day long. Skinny. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're focusing on upcoming Netflix originals, both new and returning, that seem destined to be trending topics in 2018. Note that the release dates of some of these productions are tentative, so we're using the latest information available as of November 2017. So do you have any idea? They, do they give you a sense of character development, what's going to happen? No, I, th no, they don't. Yeah. Uh, and it's Marvel, <laughs> so everything is always very secretive. Number 10, Lost in Space. You are watching the unfolding of one of history's great adventures. Spurred on by the Cold War science rivalry, the race to the moon made outer space a hot topic in 60s TV, from the Jetsons to Star Trek. Lost in Space, taking its inspiration from the 1812 novel Swiss Family Robinson, was another cult classic. The worst is behind us now. It followed the adventures of a family whose spaceship is sabotaged, leaving them, well, lost in space. Netflix's new iteration will focus in on a new Robinson family that grapples with strange aliens, hostile environments, and the most unpredictable foe of all, interpersonal relationships. Looks like it might have been some sort of crystalline power source. Number nine, Jessica Jones, season two. I'd rather call you crazy than admit that I can lift this car or that I can melt your insides with my laser eyes. In 2015, Netflix released Jessica Jones, thrilling fans and new viewers alike. Based on the Marvel Comics character, this Netflix original character has far more to offer than popcorn thrills. Kristen Ritter portrays a retired superhero who opens a detective agency and tracks down criminals in New York City. This series is quite dark, both in its visual palette and plot-wise. You'd do anything to protect her, wouldn't you? It's a cinematic experience that you can enjoy without shelling out big bucks at a movie theater. Season 1 has proven a female superhero can succeed on the small screen, and we're sure Season 2 will continue that trend. I can't wait to get them on the stand. Number 8. A Futile and Stupid Gesture Based on Josh Karp's 2006 nonfiction book, this movie adaptation will surely be full of sophomoric humor along with some drama. If you're at all familiar with National Lampoon magazine, then you know just what we're talking about. A Futile and Stupid Gesture is based on co-founder Doug Kenny, a charismatic and trailblazing writer who will be played by Saturday Night Live alum Will Forte. This, it is uh, absolutely for the show. Uh, I can't really say uh, why we're doing it for the show, but it figures in there somewhere. Speaking of SNL, many of their iconic cast members began their careers at National Lampoon. So it'll be interesting to see Joel McHale's interpretation of Chevy Chase and John Gamberling's take on John Belushi. It scares him, doesn't it? Well, it should. With its all-star cast, this one should be absolutely hilarious and full of R-rated humor. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. <sighs> Number 7. Outlaw King if you enjoy gritty films like Start Up or Hell or High Water, then this David McKenzie film should be on your radar. Open the drawer! Oh. Open the mother drawer! The Scottish director is teaming up with Netflix for a historical drama about 14th century bad boy Robert the Bruce, otherwise known as, well, the Outlaw King, the scourge of the English army, and the father of Scottish independence. With Chris Pine in the leading role, you can expect A-list star power to complement McKenzie's hard-edged style of filmmaking. His movies feature tough guys with axes to grind, and for this one, there will be blood. Oh yes, there will be epic battles and epic production design. Number 6. Kingdom You know and we know it too. Zombies are taking over the world. <laughs> for this Korean series, Netflix enlisted Kim Song-hun to direct. He's a huge director in Korea, with 2016's The Tunnel showcasing what he can bring to the table. For this show, he's teaming up with acclaimed Korean writer Kim Eun-hee. With its medieval Chosun period setting, Kingdom should be the beneficiary of heavy production support from Netflix for cool design and effects. With the historical zombie narrative, we can expect multiple insane episodes. Most of all, though, it's a good sign that Netflix is willing to diversify themselves with another K-drama. Number 5. The Umbrella Academy in 2007, Dark Horse Comics released a brand new comic book series, one that fascinated readers with its alternate history premise. Here's what you need to know. John F. Kennedy was never assassinated, and women give birth to superhero babies, much like the Virgin Mary gave birth without technically being pregnant. 
So yeah, the Umbrella Academy is looking back in time and thinking ahead. This Netflix original will feature Ellen Page as Vanya Hargreaves, also known as the White Violin. And we're still waiting for more deets just like everybody else. If you haven't read the original comics, then now is the time to sign up for The Umbrella Academy. Number 4. Chris Rock – Stand-Up Special Whereas some high-profile comics are pining for another big hit, others are preparing for major Netflix success. Chris Rock, a Saturday Night Live veteran and pop culture renaissance man, recently signed on the dotted line for two specials, each worth $20 million. Yep, you heard that right. Yeah, man, everything's all right, man. Everybody's just treating me nice. Everything's just cool in the game. It's been nearly a decade since Rock's last special, Kill the Messenger. And if you know his comedic style, then you know that touchy societal topics are fair game. But skinny girls can't talk about fat girls. Just, just me. With this Netflix original, we can expect even more future classic Chris Rock bits, and a routine that will be cutting edge and perfected for the digital age. You realize even criminals in jail get an hour lunch break? Number 3. Mute Featuring dashing Swedish actor Alexander Skarsgård, you know, Pennywise's brother, as a mute bartender searching for his missing love, this upcoming science fiction flick is based in futuristic Berlin. Director Duncan Jones is behind this Netflix original, the same man behind Moon, Source Code, and Warcraft. I feel restored. Oh, and he's also David Bowie's son. So just imagine the wild world he'll build for Mute, a Netflix original that will also feature the always reliable Paul Rudd, as well as Justin Theroux from HBO's The Leftovers. This movie has been described by Jones as a, quote, spiritual sequel to Moon. Yeah, you know, I was. Thinking about Hawaii or maybe uh, Mexico. Aloha. Number two, The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. I killed the wrong man as to which why I'm here. Believe it or not, but James Franco is working on another project. Okay, okay, wine. Yet The Ballad of Buster Scruggs isn't just another art house indie. It's a Netflix original from the Coen brothers. Yep, this is actually happening. With this Western anthology, Netflix takes another giant leap forward, and James Franco will reunite with his co-star from HBO's The Deuce, Zoe Kazan. I'm not naked or nothing. Expect zany comedy, cinematic virtuosity, and most likely, something beautifully bizarre. Don't you know that? This will be unlike any other Netflix series, and that's because it's a Coen Brothers production, a true Netflix original. You said it, man. Nobody f***s with the Jesus. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number one, Maniac. If the Coen brothers' take on black comedy doesn't tickle your fancy, then maybe this Carrie Fukunaga series will do the trick. La primera vez, He's known for directing True Detective episodes, along with the acclaimed 2015 film Beasts of No Nation. For this Netflix original, Fukunaga turns to fantastical dark comedy and has two modern humor icons to rely on, with Jonah Hill and Emma Stone playing patients at a psychiatric institution who inhabit elaborate visionary worlds of their own. Well, Jules, the funny thing about my back is, is that it's located on my cock. Based on a Norwegian series from 2014, Maniac should be challenging, disturbing, uplifting, and hilarious, all wrapped up into one. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.